We're at the Fort Sill Apache Cemetery on the Fort Sill Army Base. And this is the designated area that they put the Chiricahua Apaches from different bands who who were held captive here on Fort Sill. And oh God, when their great-grandparents were living, their children were taken away. When their great-grandparents -grand were breathing, their children were taken from the home. My mom and my aunts always talked about their memories and my aunt, of course, was older than my mom and she would tell her stories about when they were held captive. And They had Apache songs that they used to sing even when they were in St. Augustine, Florida. And they were sad, lonely songs where they longed for their homeland to go back to Arizona or down into Mexico even. But they had no choice in the matter anymore. And I think about these little children now, that's what they're gonna probably say when they get older. They were taken from place to place without their parents, without their loved ones, without anyone to nurture and hold them and love them. And that's what stays on my mind. Remembering these stories, and now we're seeing it again. I know my help. What's it yours? And if stun it will. Name a much now I'm not to watch him. It's the other day, I say, shave, it's just a kiss in my Many of us had a place saying, what, what can we do? And we can always all pray, uh, pray. And so I thought it would be important for us to uh, prepare this place for uh, children who will be here, but also for those who will care for them and take care of them, to remind the world of our responsibility to care for creation. And to what a powerful and important place for us to be at this morning, uh, to prepare for that, whether, uh, whether they end up here or not. Okita na tomo ba tita tapa ni pana tuina maravito kikura nam. But these babies are innocent to all this. It isn't by their fault that this is happening to them. And I just want prayers. I just want people to pray for them until this is all resolved.